And firstly, whatever has happened in our country is extremely sad and tragic. Um, there is a certain attachment that uh, grows to the country that you are living in. And what has happened will always be sad and tragic. And we hope that, inshallah, uh, there would be greater calm, peace and prosperity and goodness for the country in which we are living in. Whatever has happened, uh, we firstly like to say it happens with the will of Almighty Allah. We do not understand and fathom the reason. Allah Ta'ala knows. But we ask Allah Ta'ala for afiyat and goodness. And we also stretch our hands and we also uh, give our words of consolation for all of those who have suffered any type of loss, loss of life, loss of property, loss of uh, their possessions, uh, we offer our condolences and support and our sympathy. Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had said, whoever consoles uh, a Muslim with regard to any of the losses or with any difficulty, then Allah Ta'ala will grant him a shade on that day when there will be no other shade other than the shade of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We might not be able to understand the grief and the losses of people. We can maybe fathom, we can give words of encouragement, but we will never be able to fathom the losses and be able to completely understand the difficulty that they are going through. But we can offer words of consolation. And one of the words of consolation that we can offer, uh, and that is that sometimes there are things that happen that may be, you know, said, Asa antakro shea is something that there are something that is, you know, you find it to be uh, not, uh, uh, you know, good against your womb's desires, against what you plan. But Allah Ta'ala has kept some good in it. And there are examples of that in our history. Umm Salma radiyallahu ta'ala anha lost her husband. And Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told her that, read this dua, Allahumma ajurni fi musibati wa khlufli khayram min'a. Oh Allah, reward me in my difficulty and grant me something better. She said, I, I used to make the dua. But I used to say, who's going to get, or where I'm going to get a husband better than uh, Abu Salma? And Allah Ta'ala made it such that she became a ummul among the mothers of the ummah. She got married to our beloved Nabi Karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah in the Holy Quran gives the example of Musa and Khizr. فَانْتَلَقَى حَتَّى إِذَا لَقِيَا غُلَامًا فَقَتَلَ That Musa Khizr under the command of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took the life of a young child the child of parents who were very attached to the child. Now, of course, it was a great moment of sadness. But Allah Ta'ala says, فَأَرَدْنَا أَن يُبْدِلَهُمْ أَرَبُّهُمَا خَيْرًا مِّنْ هُزَقَاتَ وَأَكْرَبَ رُحْمَةً Allah would replace it with something that was better. Ulama write that the same parents gave birth to a woman who became, according to one riwayat, the mother of one prophet, and according to Abdullah ibn Abbas, the mother of two prophets. And through the means of that particular prophet, such a great amount of people benefited and came upon the path of guidance. So sometimes there can be something that could be said, but from the Allah Ta'ala might bring about certain aspects of goodness. And we hope that inshallah this will also result in a similar manner. And to those who feel naturally who have lost their businesses, who have lost their possessions, it's a natural thing to see that is it worthwhile for me to carry on again? Let me, let me come down, let me restructure, let me downsize. Maybe it is like that. You can look at it at that particular situation. But maybe my whatever little bit of words, let us not look at it as I'm not going to start all over again. There's a hadith that comes in Abu Dawood Sharif that Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had said, There is no risk better than the risk that a person earns with his own hands and own efforts. وَإِنَّ نَبِيَّ اللَّهِ دَاوُودَ كَانَ يَأْكُلُ مِنْ عَمَلِ يَدِهِ نبي داود عليه الصلاة والسلام used to eat from the risk that he, his own hands, you know, the, his own effort. So, as much as we feel, let us look at that, that what you do with your own hands, your own effort, there is a barakat in it and it's part of the sunnah. And of course, there's another dimension with regard to whatever is happening. And that is that we are living in a country which is perhaps one of the most unequal countries in the world. Officially, the stats is 32% unemployment, 7.2 million people unemployed. Unofficially, it might be even much more than that. Now, we cannot resolve the entire situation with regard to, you know, 7.2 million people who are unemployed, grant them employment. But whatever is within our means, let us try and do that. Let us share. 
those people whom we know within our own circles, our workers, our employees, our domestics, let us see how we can share with them to uplift them. You know, not only help them, but also try to uplift them in terms of providing for the education of their children. Let us continue doing that. That is our legacy. That is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us. And maybe lastly, let me say, there were similar situations in recent history. You know, 70, 80 years back at the time of the partition of India, the people who remain in India uh, were greatly in stress, greatly in anxiety because they were being attacked. Uh, people were, uh, were moving over to Pakistan, the people who were staying in India. There was a very great question mark with regard to their safety. At that particular time, the ulama at that place told the Muslims of India, stay where you are. And Mu'a Hussain Ahmad Madni Rahmatullah went from village to village, many villages he went and he said, the Allah that is in Pakistan is the same Allah who is in India. He will grant you protection if you turn towards him. Mu'a Abul Kalam Azad went to the Delhi Jami Majid and he told the Muslims, remain here. This is your legacy of your forefather and establish yourself in this particular land. Mu'a Abdul Qadir Raipuri, a group of ulama went to him and he told them, we will remain here and we will make our home here and we will play our part in doing whatever we need to be to establish ourselves here in terms of our akhlaq, in terms of our contribution. And lastly, someone yesterday told me who was close to Mufti Mahmoud Sahib Rahmatullah and he said it was either Mufti Mahmoud Sahib or someone in that particular category amongst our ulama said that even if I'm the only one living and left alone as a Muslim in India, I will stay to give azan. I will be the only one I will give azan to be able to say that I'm going to stay here in this country and raise the, uh, the flag and the kalima la ilaha illallah and be able to, to, to pro propagate and proclaim our Islam. Maybe that is what the type of things that we need to be doing. May Allah Ta'ala give us the tawfiq and may Allah Ta'ala make it easy for us and make it easy for everyone. Amen.